1787. So you come to the heart of bourbon country to a very quaint, lovely bourbon bar slash restaurant. Sure. Slash just, it's just it's basically it's a, a home for Kentucky, isn't it? Absolutely. And how do you how do you define it? What do you what do you call this place? Well, we call it Kentucky's home for bourbon. I call myself the Kentucky Bourbon Master. And, uh, you know, people say, what, uh, why are you such a doggone expert? And well, I tell them the truth. I've drunk a trainload of this stuff. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's interesting about being in Barstown uh, is that we know the people who make the bourbon. We know the people that uh, transport it in trucks. We know the people that make the barrels. We know the people that put it up in the barrels. Uh, we know the people that work the warehouses and age it, you know, for five to uh, 15 years. And so it, it becomes a culture you know, when I ask one of one of the people in Barstown, how's the bourbon going, or is there a new bourbon out, they have an answer. It's, it's their life. And uh, as you know, as you've met these master distillers, it's, uh, it's not a job to them, it's a life. Uh, it's a lifestyle. So is it... I agree with you. Is it the point. customers that are going through the bankers, or is it you? You enjoy it too. Well, my wife is bad at me at all times because I always taste the product. <laughs> yeah. You're still not like you so well, 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 you know, in my youth, I tried to, to drink all the uh, bourbon in Nelson County. I found out I could not. Now I don't even try. George T. Stack is cooked by Buffalo Trace. We sell it here for $35 a taste. Of course, they put it in the barrel at 125 proof. Then it's it's about 19 years old. Of course, the angel takes about three or four percent a year, and they take the water, leaving the alcohol. So the proof rises over time. And one of the reasons why it's so expensive is at the end of uh, 19 years, uh, they only have about 40% uh, of the barrel left. So out of a 50-gallon barrel, they might have 25, 20, 25 gallons left. Not too much left. That's Not too much left. I've drunk a train I've drunk a train load of this stuff. I can generally tell you what distillery it came from. Right? I could definitely tell that. Uh, at 146 proof. Well, it's uh, there's nothing quite like it in the world. Right. Well there's no place quite like this in the Chapeese House. Well the Chapeese House is Kentucky's home for bourbon. And uh, I think we have uh, every premium and ultra premium bourbon made. What I tell people is if I don't have a premium bourbon that you know about, tell me and I'll buy it. What inspired you to start this place? Uh, three things. I absolutely love people. I like people who like good drink, good food, and good conversation. And uh, at Chapee's house we're a tavern and a dinner house and uh, I get all of that here. You know, bourbon is truly an international beverage in the way it's appreciated and sold and uh, uh, you know Chapee's house is, um, is uh, kind of welks of people from around the world you know there's a lot of ways to enjoy bourbon you can you can do it at, at, at your neighborhood bar or you can come to an historic place like Chapee's house and enjoy the ambiance the Kentucky ambiance of an old Federalist mansion um, uh, you know, we, my people were the Daniel Boones and the William Bryans. We've been here forever. So to the extent that you get a kick out of talking to me, I'm here and I enjoy it. So how do we survive Bourbon Festival? Is there a way to survive Bourbon Festival? Well, there is no way to survive Bourbon Festival. You just have to outlive it. <laughs> you just have to outlast it. And, and how do you uh, outlast it? Well, it only lasts six days. and. Uh, at, at, at the end, um, uh, I, I just try to be I'm trying to be the last one standing. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you got great bourbon around you all year long. I do, I do. And we have. Uh, I tell you, the interesting thing about bourbon is that people that like good conversation, like good food, uh, enjoy good bourbon. Those are my kind of people, and that's the kind of people come to Pete's house. Oh yeah, and uh, we serve the dinners, and we serve good cocktails, and we serve flights of bourbon. I just, I, I'm having a blast. This is the work I do, but it's my pleasure. There's no place like this around. There's no place. No place. And there's no one like the Colonel, is there? No. <laughs> Not even one, those one of a kind. One of a kind. <laughs> Three cheers for the Colonel.